knowing an object created by hands, by the full attention of a human being on this piece, confers and increases its erratic character. How much of what these hands confer on the object is the biological inheritance of previous generations. The feminine universe appears when the sound goes down. It is the moment when the chairs are brought out outside to create a delicate circle where ideas are exchanged, where everything is analyzed. It is the space of relaxed conversations where the daughters of Aradni, the weaver goddess, compose their charming works, unique pieces that arise from the creativity of those who know that they are the transmitters of cultural identity. Materials, colors, infinite stitches that speak of life, dreams, and hope. Through the tousled braids of her hair, her fingers have passed a thousand times. The same ones that with affection and sensitivity have worked the colors of the earth and its materials. As part of grass and clay, make up the universe that gives meaning to the essence of each artisan workshop that connects us with our origins. A window that opens onto the Mediterranean and tells the story of beautiful young women who lived at the bottom of the sea. They spent their time spinning, weaving, and singing. They swayed on the waves with their hair in the wind and swam among fish and dolphins. Greek poets wrote about them and their songs reached every corner of Mir Nostrum. Searching for the connection between tradition and innovation between a symbolic universe that takes us back to our origins and the technological space that imposes itself as necessary. We are the result of this fusion between the tangible and the immaterial. We defend craftsmanship as a countercultural act, opposing the immediate, the artificial, the technical reproducibility. Uniqueness is a virtue, the singular, the unrepeatable. <laughs>